Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create a custom title block in Revit, similar to the one you see on the screen. You will learn how to add labels, a company's logo, notes, and how to make everything completely parametric. You will also know how to preset page sizes that can help you save time when printing. You can find the download link for this file at the description below, it will mean a lot if you can show your support by liking and subscribing. So now, this rectangle you're seeing is the actual title block. You want to keep everything you're gonna draw inside of these boundaries and ever outside of it. Let's also change the units to millimeters. You can do that by pressing UN on the keyboard and configuring the length. That vertical reference line, you should pin it so it doesn't move when we add more page sizes. Hover over these existing lines and press the tab key to select the whole shape. On the top menu, change the subcategory to page size. Use the align tool to align the new lines to the reference and close the lock. The left hand side one does not need to be aligned to anything. Next step is to add some dimensions and then set our title block to an A3 size. Remember to always start with the smallest page size and then get bigger and bigger. Select the dimension on the top and let's transform it into a parameter. Name it width and leave it as a type parameter. Now do the same thing for the height. By clicking on the type family icon, we can create a new family type for this page size. Let's call it A3 landscape and press OK. These are going to be our margins. Create dimensions connecting the new lines. Select one of the dimensions and transform it into a parameter called margin. Select the other remaining dimensions and make them into margin as well. Let's test these parameters. Create a new type called A3 Portrait and flip the width and height. The lines are following the parameter, so we can move along to the next step. Let's start creating our information column. First, set the column width and make it into a parameter if you feel like you change this in the future.
Now let's make our first label. This will be connected to your project and will change in all of your sheets at once because it's a type parameter. Now let's say we want to make this note here appear in some sheets only. Add the note with the text tool and in the properties bar click the grey button next to visible. Let's add a parameter called construction note and choose instance instead of type. This will allow us to select which sheet we want this note to appear on. By clicking the family type icon, you can set this parameter to be hidden by standard when you load this into a project. Note that it will be always showing in this title block family file. Now for the rest of the title block, the same principles will apply for all the other information, just like the general notes that I can be bothered to write it again, so I'll just copy from one project to another. Now for the revision schedule, go to the view tab and select revision schedule. Now I find it just useful to add the revision description, date and number, but you can add more information if you like. Just grab the blue dot on the schedule and drag it until it has the size that you like. Even if you have more revisions in a project than lines in the schedule, you will only see the less revisions in this title block, meaning the schedule will not grow to fit more revisions. Now select all of this information you just created and make it into a group. Now let's create a dimension between the reference line and some line inside of this group. By setting a dimension, this will mean that when the page size grows or shrinks, this information will be always connected to the top reference line. Now let's add the company information. I will just design a simple logo to illustrate, but you can also insert image if you like. Make all of the company information into a group and let's move on to the next step.
In this file we have a sheet size label but it does not exist in Revit so we have to create this label. Follow those steps above so we can set the sheet size correctly among this family type and also the portrait type. Now the title Now the title block is ready to be imported into a project. As you can see, the parameter we just created, sheet size, is not appearing in the project. So to learn how to add this, watch my video on importing shared parameters. And that's it guys, you're ready to create your own title block. See you next time.